Not exactly sure why, but I seem to always pick cold days to do these intense outdoor water projects. So I got a 100 foot hose here. Figured that'll be good enough for our test. Oh. And we got our device here. Hopefully it'll hold together well. I'm here at a fairly large public uh, access river here and uh, found a spot that seems like it's deep enough to get a good test in. So let's try it out. I'm anxious to see how well this thing works. Got this garden hose here. Now this isn't a true swivel because as it tightens down, it uh, swivels less. But I still think it's gonna work uh, all right here. And there's actually two swivels in here. So one of those is bound to swivel. I forgot my boots course toe shoes and it's about uh, 60 degrees and this water is cold because it was 30 last night so I'm gonna try and stand here and put it in here and let it go down to about here and we'll see if it'll spin here it goes let's see what we get it would have been nice to have my boots I'm just gonna bite the bullet and take these shoes off. This ground is cold. Oh. All right, well it floats at least. I'm gonna step off over here into this rigid water and we'll see if we can get this thing to spin oh nice look at that Woo. man it's cold oh my gosh Mercy. Oh. 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 All right. I'm going to go dry off and we'll try this a different way. I'm going to go find a rock to stand on. Okay, here's the new setup. I'm going to be standing on this rock down here and place the pump into the water over here. That way I won't be freezing to death. So the hose is going to come up here to this spot. I don't know, it's maybe 8 to 10 feet above the water should give us a pretty good test. So let's plop this in again and see what we get. All right, I'm gonna toss this in now and hopefully it won't uh, wash out down creek. So let's see what we get. Oh. It's not moving quite as fast here. I can push it out toward the middle of it. Well, we're getting some slow movement there. That's not bad. I'm gonna see if I can anchor this hose down and give you a better shot here. Okay, this is not super ideal, but it at least is working on its own. So let's see here. Got the paddle going around. And it's hard to see here, but there are uh, bubbles of water and air spinning around there as it goes along. So I'm noticing that the more water it pushes up, the slower it's turning. But if we were just a couple of inches over toward the middle of the creek, I think it would do a lot better. So, it's pumping water up around this rock. 
and I'm going to wait for it to uh, come out the top here. This is so exciting that it's actually working. So it's pushed a lot of water into the pipe and I'm noticing something. It's sinking further and further into the water and when that happens less and less air is being gulped. Uh, you can kind of see at the end here the air bubbles are real tiny and they should be about half and half is what I've I'm thinking so I'm guessing two things either need to find a more buoyant uh, filler tube like some more foam or um, a lighter material but hey for a first test that's pretty awesome well I found a higher attachment point and that brought the pump a little better into the water but it's still got some sinking issues going okay so I found a higher attachment point and it was working better but um, then the glue came or uh, it came out because I haven't glued it so uh, anyway it never pumped any water up but I'm gonna check the hose here just to see what's in it and see if we got anything but uh, first test I'm gonna call this complete okay I'm gonna pop this quick release and uh, see what kind of water we had in here The hose is actually fairly heavy. All right, I'm gonna pull this other end up and we'll see what we got here. There we go. That was a pretty decent amount. I think. So, all right, well, not a bad test. That was a great first test. Um, didn't pump any water up more than, I don't know, about two feet off the river, but hey, that's two feet. So, a few thoughts. Need a better float. This one just uh, didn't cut it. Um, the paddles worked great. Uh, beat my expectations. The whole thing fell apart, so definitely have to glue it. And uh, the swivel worked well. So, more testing to come, but the price of this thing was about 80 bucks with what I've got in it right now. So, if it pumps water in the end, worth it, I say. This might be a good uh, way of getting away from the ram pump if you have flat water like this. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. Comment, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.